Dark rituals, void breach, general weirdness. I mean, can't be far. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. Take care. It's awfully calm. Why is it awfully calm? Red, I can't manifest any rewards work well enough. You didn't need to kill so many bots. Demonologists use necromancy. Maybe he thought he'd bring them back when he was done. Spectres. They haven't noticed us. Stay low. on for sale. Creepy hideout. The governor spawn likes a bit of drama. This one's different. Looks like it died diseased. Ugh. What is this thing? Banish your rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. This is some dark, sideways magic. 
It's forbidden. I've read it. Sometimes I worry about you. I should give this place a proper sweep. So, you can see me. Aren't you full of surprises, young Master Hasgar? You may talk. I banish a ghost. Amazing. How on God's earth did you find me? Never mind that. Thank the Lord you did. Thought I was going to grow old in here. As hiding places go, the void is quite the choice. Yes, an amazing place. Or plane? World? The Aralu is not easily described, but it makes a fascinating study. Tell me, how did you get past the Guardian beneath the mill? Did you use a decoy? We fought it. Don't change the subject. You fought it? Of course you did! A good thing too. I was starting to think it was wise to me tricks. Oh, but I have so many questions. This isn't a social call, kid. And we're the ones with the questions. Oh. Oh. Of course. From the looks of this place, you're knee-deep in research. What are you doing here, exactly? Searching for the origin of the Harrow's Plague, of course. And I have a theory on the subject. Of course you do. Go on, then. Now, at first, I believed the water poisoned. But my father sealed the well, and yet folk remained sick. They looked for witchcraft, a foolish, uneducated suspicion, yes, but with some truth concealed behind it. You see, the Aralu taints New Eden. Its influence leeches into the Harrows. The evidence is everywhere. Can you prove that? Where's your evidence? In New Eden, the threshold between our plane and this is thin. Even I, a novice, may reach the frontier and then go beyond. I also believe it happened before. Some years ago, New Eden was hit by another epidemic. Was it the same illness? I believe that first epidemic was caused by the porosity of the frontier between New Eden and the Aralu. Although, where theirs was an affliction of burning flesh, Ours is a corruption of mind and spirit, and I believe I have found its source. There is a substance, a strange ooze. You may have noticed it. This, I believe, is the true source of the Harrow's poison. It carries a particular stink, on the scent of which I experience first confusion, then a loss of control over my limbs. What do you expect to find? To find a cure. The ooze seeps into our... <sighs> Unfortunately, I cannot reach the... The Aralu is a formidable place. Tricky. A maze. I found an oozing crack in the ground. The terrain then remade itself, and I... Perhaps we might be able to find a way through. Would you? That would be... You see ghosts? You stroll the void as if it were your garden. You possess and share forbidden rituals. Who are you really? I'm Lammy Haskell, and I'm a man of many sciences. I am in fact a true pursuer. That raises more questions than it answers. What are the pillars of the universe? Which principles underpin existence? As occultists, do we change the world or scratch upon its surface? Each discipline I embrace peels back a new layer of reality. I'm yet at the beginning, and see where I already stand. Amazing, no? Are you a demonologist like your father? More or less. Less, more so. My father sees occultism through the eyeglass of his faith, but I know better. So, more so? If you don't share your father's faith, what do you believe? I believe in the afterlife. 
The proof is about us. And if the void embodies eternal despair, there must too be a place of hope. But where, I ask myself, where? Your father is convinced a witch poisoned his well. Caleb Watson was cursed by a ritual you gave him. I'd focus if I were you. We must counter the devil with knowledge of his tricks. That, my father always said, is the purest of God's work. Uh, I can imagine your father saying that. When I was ten, he gave me my initiation. Demonology, sir, as he would say. He saw me as his heir. Then, of a sudden, the books were forbidden. So I stole them, the very same books he'd forced upon me as a boy. I understand them where he does not. I did no wrong, apart from a little theft. Let's go take a closer look at that. And with that sorrow, God, do be careful. My home is your... The Aralu is not your home, Lamy. Uh, pardon my morbid enthusiasm, Mr. Stuarte, but could I ask you a few questions? What do you wish to know? Do you still need to... And there, we should get going. So, the pious governor's unassuming son is our... Which I was as earnest as he. Ah, the rank enthusiasm of youth. It's sickening. Oh, God. I need a wee bit of help here. Red, I can't manifest anymore. Ghost wards. I cannot manifest. <laughs> I can't worry. Thank you. Anytime. I can help. Devil take it. Is through the breach, suppurates like a festering wound. How delightful. Let's see what lies on the other side.
Where are we now? Underground, looks like. Wonderful. The ooze affects the incarnate, too. <gasps> Who goes there? I don't know, but I don't think we're alone. What might you be then? What was? Oh shite! Did you did you just say shite? You. It's bigger than I thought it'd be. Is that a house from the Harrows? We may be below the well. No wonder they all got sick. This house belonged to a certain Antipas and Clemency Gibbs. Gibbs's land was barren. He was struggling for money. Very stone. Mr. and Mrs. Gibbs, have you read my paper? I read it, aye. And then I washed my hands and prayed for grace. You claim to prove that there is no curse. Well... A witch would say that, wouldn't she? Wherever people gather to live, disease takes hold, and I believe... What are you doing? Your evil lies shall be destroyed. We know who you are, and you shall be judged. Witch! They were determined to do for her. She built a case for her rationality, and they tore it apart. And of all of them, just this one house fell down. Maybe it was personal. Was the Gibbs' house targeted by the ooze? Obviously. Look around you. Mrs. Gibbs, I presume.
another shadow. What do they want? Red, something is keeping me from manifesting. In here? Ah, oh, shite. You're on your own. I see a ghost lord. What are they doing out here? Watch out. Spectre position. This is warded. Better. You're welcome. Now let's inspect the body. Clemency Gibbs blamed the epidemic on a witch. Come from New Eden time with the governor. That's not what Deborah's research pointed at. Well, the Gibbs are not at home to rational explanations. Use this one. See anything? Either the water table is full of ooze, or there's another source. Let's search upstream. with a bunch. Incoming! Over there. Oh, loose of little buggers. Corpse is going to shoot. 
feel invigorated. It was weird. Huh? Pleasant. I told you. Something has me. Wards. And you will not be judged. Forgive and you will be. Those echoes were here in the shadows speaking. Yes, they always Good. appear near the woods. So the whispers. But which came first? say the same things over and over. What kind of entity would be so obsessed? I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. Watch out, Spectre for the... This looks perfectly drinkable. Famous last words. Why hasn't the poison spread to the groundwater? Perhaps it shifts and shapes, like the void. Well, at the very least, it shifts. Looks like the ooze comes from a distinct source. <laughs> Wasn't I always? Remember the wicked will I felt earlier? The same spell is upon this. We should find that ritual Seeker told us about. I've kept her notes about the hut location. is rotten to the core. And you're just now reaching this conclusion? If I wanted your opinion, I'd give it to you. Perhaps if you gave me the space to have one, then we'd both be better off. Someone came through here, someone real, not just a shadow. Whoever it was, it looks like the ooze got them. What do you think, Antea? You wanted the space to have your own opinion. I'm giving it to you. This must be Antipas Gibbs. Hell of a fall to live through. Now join in any time, Antea. What do you think I'm doing? God's land. How could we let a witch come to our community? Instructing our children, no less. Tis no surprise. New Eden brims over with backsliders. The governor, chief amongst them. Aye. Many had to sicken and die for him to act. But the deed is not yet done. We must fight the Lord's good fight and cast the devil out for good. Many want to try the witch, aye. 
and many want to see her dead. This isn't over yet. Another insight. Oriental shapeshifters we fought in Bremen. Or Baki liquefy. This is something else. The Gibbs were so angry. Pure entitled bigotry. Maybe they were affected by the ooze. I mean, we've been snapping at each other since we got here. This is it. This is the source. Where do we get to it? If you need a breather, we can do it here. tells me this is the condemned well. The bucket is tainted. sense the vivid echo of a ghost's memory. A strong memory clings to this place. The devil still breathes to her mouth. We are cursed, and you are stalling. Clemency, Antipas, please. The woman has been jailed. As per custom, she will face trial, and justice will be brought to this community. Coming from a magic user himself. But can you or your demonologist discernment really be trusted? Dare you insinuate such blasphemy? I'm a man of faith. Then do what God commands of you. Governor, we ask for safety. If we do not get it, there will be consequences. The governor used Urim and Thummim, and that made his flock suspicious. Divination stones. He must have thrown them down the well when he sealed it. Why now? Hiding the evidence, perhaps, of his role in the witch trial. They connected him to the demonology he used to reinforce his authority. That echo proves that things were getting out of hand. But his son is safe in his own. Haskell must have feared the suspicious move.
Oh, this can he be good? Speak, so you listen. Impudence, provocation, read the charges. Let war in the grave. You have war on your hands and weakness in your heart. Guilty. Swore to vanquish evil. You conspired with witches. Sworn to punish all ghosts. Instead, you embrace one. The charges. Cowardice, oath breaking, deception. The verdict. Guilty. The sentence. Hunter. Never was. Shadows. I never wanted this. I hate the very thing I've become. I'll try. Dies, the 
help New Eden. And still we fight this cup. What more do you want from us? Your strikes do nothing. No, I don't think we will. Damn you. Enough. Can we please get out of here? That was awful. This trial. It was as if Deborah wanted us to face what she had faced. But all I feel is beaten. How powerless. I were always one move behind. Justice miscarried here. Of course. That's it. I know what that was. Such spectre of injustice has a name. The mythical infamy. I've only read about them. They're so rare, most think them a myth. Askel's cowardice is to blame. To save his own arse, he condemned a woman he knew to be innocent. And so a terrible ghost was born, and sickness piled on sickness. Haskell has so much to answer for. Seems to be stuck.
That man, down there, it was... Uh, I was tense. I was impatient. Me too. That infamy really got to us. Years of anger coursed through me. Yet now I can't even remember why. Me neither. This is what an infamy does. It's over now. We're here. I said something to hurt you. I'm sorry. I forgive you, and I hope that you forgive me too. How refreshing it is to the soul to be at once. One thing above all else, my friends, is true. The wicked are at odds with themselves. Oh, good. <laughs> the Lord's promise of salvation from hell pleases them. The Lord's salvation from misery and sin here on earth does not. This doesn't look like salvation from misery and sin. The wicked pray for deliverance from the fires of hell while piling the kindling high. They proclaim their love for their Lord, yet, in His name, they serve themselves. Their self-regard crumbles in the light of their hateful iniquities. So, so true. Mr. McCraith, my friend, I'm so glad you agree. Now the wicked man never questions- I have your answers. What? Yes, good. Perhaps we should discuss this privately, if you'll give me just a moment. Yeah, it's quite the story. You might not wish to hear it. Neither may the good people here. Please, this is not the time. We want to hear the story. Let the Banisher speak. Tell them, Red. Tell them good. Aye. There's a story that starts with a question. A question for you, Governor. And maybe for all the good people of New Eden. If I give you a witch, will you do what you did to Deborah Comenius? Comenius, say you? The school teacher walked with the devil and paid the appropriate price. That's the beginning of the history and also its end. Is it, though? Now, I've learned much about Deborah Comenius and what happened to her, and it tells a very different tale. And what story, pray you, does it tell? It tells the story of a man, a latter-day King Solomon. When plague struck his subjects, they turned to him for guidance and protection. For they were God-fearing folk, and he was a godly king. The king turned his flock to God, but it was not enough. The plague spread on. The king, worried about his position, needed a sacrificial lamb. You lose the run of your tongue, Mr. McCraith, and of the head to which it's fixed. There was no lamb. There was a trial. Fair and lawful. You're a pompous coward, fearful of anyone different, as human as that is. There must be a man to judge, or there is no order. 
A man to make the judgment and a man to enforce it. Of all people, you know this. I live and let live. I choose only for the dead. I choose for the living. These people are sinners, sir, and must be led back to the light. This is my mandate, my duty. Admit it. You toy with magic. You don't understand. You, sir, are jealous. I, sir, am tired. I've done my job, fulfilled my contract. I've found the source of the curse. The poison below the well is no more. No thanks to you. Aha! Poison it was, then. The weapon of the wicked, to weaken the people's will. What was it? Belladonna? Hemlock? Foxglove? Betrayal! Truth unspoken! Secrets and lies! Wrongs, basically! Your wrongs! The wrongs you visited upon Deborah Comenius! The wrongs that led to her death! She died at the hand of the body politic. She died at all our hands. Most of all, she died at her own. She died because she would not submit. Twas not my plan to kill her, stupid, stubborn woman. Why did she not confess? I would have granted clemency. I would have shown her mercy. You say your flock forced your hand. For the greater good, you say, you indulge their bloodlust. I believe you did it. I don't believe your motive. You delighted in your magical witch hunt. Your trivial rituals. You thought you'd be lauded for your humility and skill. But you have neither. Now all around you crumbles. Yet still you state your claim as the rightful protector of the people of New Eden. I have found the culprit, the devil worshipper, the source of the evil that has befallen your community. Sorry, son. <gasps> You're having a laugh. No, can't be. Oh, that don't. Him? <laughs> My son, a witch. <laughs> you mock us, sir. Present proof, or retract your ridiculous accusation. Now you need proof. For years, Lamy studied your precious library of the Forbidden. But he outdid his father. He learned. It was Lamy who taught Caleb Watson the dark ritual that brought his beloved wife back from the dead. I was trying to help. I did nothing wrong. No! Lord of mercy! For shame. The boy was always strange. No. No, Lammy is a good boy. I won't have it. Easy, Governor. Your son's intentions were sound, and his mistakes, grave as they were, did not poison the well. Forgive me for swearing in the meeting house, but this is a blooming farce. Have I ever failed you? In evil times, have we not endured? Have I not protected you? Fooled by his own flesh, how could he be so blind? Have faith. The Banisher has lifted the curse. Brighter days are here. I knew you were trouble. You and your lady. Look what you've done. Don't push your luck, Haskell. I've given you a shot at redemption. 
It's more than you gave Deborah. Damn you, Punisher! Paid in consideration of a curse lifted. All rights defended now and hereafter. I look forward to never seeing you again. Don't count on it. The work's not done. I hate this place. Rest up, then please, let's get out of here. You're angry. Can tell. Of course you can. Aren't you angry? I'm more... disgusted. This region is doomed. I know it in my bones. There's no shortage of suffering around here. Ask or sell to that when you ordered Deborah's execution. I know that we're together. And it makes us strong, but... I'm still weary. Don't lose yourself. You've done far more than I could ever have asked. I'll do what it takes, and gladly. You need not ask it. The closer we get to my body, to the truth about what happened here, the stronger I feel. My senses rise. It's as if I can taste the silence, smell the scent of wood smoke, feel the warmth of your body, feel Deborah's wrath. I feel it as if it were a part of me. I understand her anger. I feel her rage and can't help but relate to it. But that anger of mine, that fear, I thought when I left home, I'd left them behind. Past is the past. You still get to choose your future. Times like this, old wounds can ache. It seems normal. It's more than that. My past casts a growing shadow upon my heart. So much so that the sister I thought was gone for good seems to be winding her way back to me. Your sister. Ayomi Day, wasn't it? No. As a child, before I left Cuba, I had a friend. I chose to call her my sister. That night, the night I died, I dreamed of her. I dreamed of Calendre. Did you go looking for her? Was she near him? It's not beyond the realm of possibility. It's so far beyond the realm of possibility you wouldn't believe it. No, she wasn't there. But I heard her voice. I'd swear on it. How could that be? Dreams can be vivid. It can be difficult to separate them from reality. I was awake, Red. What did you hear her say? I don't know. I don't remember. I think she said we were family. Never to be divided. She's after my job. She can't have it. I'm your family now. Nothing's tearing us apart. Death has already torn us apart. I hate this is where we are. I hate that I'll have to say goodbye. But for now, I'll do everything in my power to catch you. This is how we win. Thank you for being the kindest soul I've ever met. Thank you for being the bravest.
Ceridian? Holy shame. Hurry, please. Ceridian, what's wrong? Come, hurry. I need you on the island. I don't think she can hear us. We need to go back to the swamps. Was that really Ceridian? How did she pull that trick? I think maybe she used the invisible to speak to us through the crow. Pity it doesn't work both ways. Imagine having a conversation with someone far away. Oh! <laughs> 